Ladies and gents, my name is Aram. Welcome back to the Aram Training Channel. I'm on a bio rower work floor. Time for me to show you how far you should actually lean back at the finish. Now, two, three things you should know. First of all, there is no one size fits all solution for every intensity. So if I'm going easy, I'm rowing feet out right now. If I'm going easy, I will use less lean back. Then when going a bit harder, of course I will use more. So you have to be aware that that's a factor you can vary, especially in a single. There is a race strategy that I teach my athlete where I take advantage of that factor. Point number two, the lean back is actually not as important as the transferability you have. The center of our body is the most important part for rowing. No, it's not legs, it's not arms, it's not shoulders, it's everything around the hip and above it. Why? Hey, because everything we transfer from the feet to our hands has to go through the center of our body. And you also have to take into consideration that from the hip joint or pelvis up to the shoulder blade or shoulder joint actually, there is not really a bone structure we could take advantage of in order to transfer energy. So we have to rely on a high density, agreed, but on muscles, a high density of muscles. And you have to be able to trigger these, and some of these, or many of these, that we actually need are deep muscles, and deep muscles, as we all know, are very difficult, if impossible, to trigger voluntarily. It's not like a bicep said, look at my bicep, blah. No, deep muscles have a function that is mostly a responsive or reactive function. And if you want to trigger these muscles and make them available for the rowing stroke, we usually use metaphors such as trying to sit tall. It's actually something that's used in dancing. And for the, for the lean back position, that is a very important metaphor we are going to use. Now, if you are on a bio rower or on an erg, or you want to try this in a boat later on, go into a lean back position. And then, in, at the finish position, try to do that. You push your pelvis forward. Pushing your pelvis forward and at the same time try to bring your upper abs out. To me it feels like I go up and out. That triggers the transferability from my feet to my, through my legs into my arms much better. Why? Because if I'm too soft, I rely on my arm pull. And a lot of people do that. They lean back a lot but there's no transfer from the legs. The legs, the knees wiggle around somewhere, but there's no, there's no transfer. You need transfer to make this happen. And even if your legs can't push anymore, they can provide stability. Hey, because we want to push the boat past the anchor blade, so we need to rest our body on something. It's the foot stretchers, it's a foot rest. So here, the finish, instead of doing this, we start to do that, upper abs out. Now, I know many are being coached to put your chest out. Huh. What happens if you bring your chest out? Probably in the top camera you will be able to see that. Chest out means shoulders back. And shoulders back, uh, that's a completely useless motion. I'm a proponent of having shoulders loosely forward, not like that, but shoulders loosely forward. It's not about an arm pull. We just use the energy of our core to transfer a force around the pins. And if you do this on a static linear erg or dynamic linear erg, it's a linear erg, you can still play with the idea of to do that. Here. That goes out. And with that stability, you don't have to be a perfect like a piece of wood. No. Try to relax as much as possible. So the overall state of a, of, of a rower is relaxed. You need to go with the boat and feel the water and all this stuff. You cannot be too rigid. But you've got to be firm, or you need to be firm. And that here is one important thing. Now, I'll give you an exercise you can do with me. Uh, you start a couple reset strokes. Reset strokes are strokes where you stay completely upright. That's something I teach my athletes and why we do this. But that's all you need to know for now, a reset stroke. And when you're completely upright, I want you to try to be, to bring your upper abs out and push your low back in. Not straight, but stable. And then gradually, at the finish, use your core's energy to get your hands around the pins. 
and then lean back a bit more. That's the stability we need. And now do the opposite. Try to lean back a lot. Aha. Uh -huh. Probably loosen up here. Once more. Wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. What was the difference? Well, one time I used my low core here to generate the lean back. And then when I did it wrong, I relaxed here, I collapsed here to lean back more and had my shoulders, I threw my shoulders back and try to pull. And the trick is not to pull. The trick is to use your body weight to empty drive. Let me get, listen, listen. I hope the microphones pick it up. If not, I just open the mic of uh, my camera here. So I will do a couple strokes with arms, legs, upper body and arms, and a couple strokes, legs, upper body. Listen to the difference in sound. No difference, is it? Our arm pull is heavily overrated. We do too much with that. And that's where usually the boats become unstable. We have to use that to disconnect the blades from the water. I'm gonna tap down with our core. Bah! And loosen forward again. Stable here. Loose here, stable here. Hop. And immediately be stable. Conclusion, don't lean back for the sake of leaning back. Lean back as much as you can with your low core, stabilizing the rest of the core. If your core has to be slumped over, it's not effective lean back anymore. Conclusion number two, different lean backs for different intensities. It's use of body weight is great and effective, but it's also exhausting. There is no free speed, to quote Martino Coretti, very successful rower, the first one to win world championship with, with Randall Foyles. And he said there is no free speed, and that's right. So if you use more upper body, oh, it will get you more watts. Certainly, it's fun. Wonderful, it's good. Excellent. It's really good fun. But what if you go easy? You reduce your upper body effect. With that being said, thanks for watching. If you want to work with me, join the Saturday Club where we work on these things go to armtraining.com. If you're interested in that beauty here, the Biro Pro, want to see what it can do for you and how much fun it is. We sell to clubs, universities, private individuals, a lot of private individuals. You can have it in beautiful custom colors. See that orange? That's a Lembo orange. It's about to be shipped. It's so beautiful. And if you want to work with me, fill out the program and the questionnaire. All the links in the video description. I'm looking forward to my own training session now. And I hope um, I was able to help you. I will put this video in the rowing zone and I'm looking forward to your feedback. If you have specific video requests, my handle on the rowing zone is at Aram and this is where you reach me the fastest. Have a good day. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Bye-bye.